In the last couple of hours, Moscow police have released some new details and there could be a huge break, a huge lead in this case. They've basically released two things. Body cam footage from very close to the house at 3 a.m. And it's it's chilling to think that officers were, were so close when, when these murders were happening. It is believed that the murders happened between 3 and 4 a.m. This is footage from outside of of the house it's in a field across the road but you can see the apartments next to the house and at one stage they're actually facing the house the footage is of three teenagers getting citations for underage drinking they were drinking in a field basically and all these teens before you think it have been cleared the reason they are releasing this is it might jog someone's memory who was in the area it's a good move i think to release it, people will remember these teenagers and, and the clothes that they had if, if they've seen them. Another reason they released it is if anyone is familiar with the area, they might spot something out of the ordinary. They might say, hey, that's a bit unusual for, for that to be there. I'm going to play the footage for you here. It's only a minute and a half long. But after about 30 seconds, you will see the officer turn and look at the apartments and the house. I'll put a screenshot up here of what it looks like in the daylight so you'll understand what's going on. But keep an eye on the house. You will see lights from, I think, the second floor. Or this could be car lights from behind the house. You you, you just can't tell. I also seen photographs of the window I think the light is coming from and it looks like there's there's lights up there. So it's really difficult to tell and it, it it's I'm not sure there's much value in it. I'm not sure how important a light in a room might be. Like all cases, you're, you're going to get people now start to do some crazy things with this footage. See things that aren't there. They'll see someone in a room pulling a curtain, stuff like that. That's all nonsense. The pixels aren't there to be able to see something like that. And I'm pretty sure if, if he hasn't done it already, Grey Hughes might be able to stabilise this footage and put a little overlay on it, like he did in the kind of Kylie Rodney case. Although it's... This is not as valuable as, as that was in the Kylie Rodney case. Like, I'm not sure there's any value at all, really, in it. A light might be on, it might be off, but a light being on in the background isn't going to solve this case. But it, it's pretty chilling to think of what was happening in that apartment or what was about to happen in the apartment when this footage was recorded. And for the officers to, to be so close. Here's the footage. Okay, is there a reason why you stop back there? Yeah. Well, we saw him talk to him, right. so we didn't know. Yeah. Okay, we well, yelled at you guys and then turned around because he walked up on him. I yelled at you guys, you didn't stop. Well, I did not hear you. Right. Yeah. Well, let's walk back over here, okay? So that's the body cam footage and the second thing that they released is the most important. This could be huge. They've released a press release asking for the community's help. I had originally thought when I seen those, these two things at the same time, I had thought that the car was spotted in the body cam footage. But I don't believe that's the case. Not on the footage that was released so far anyway. I can't see it. I don't believe... If there's a white car in the background here, they're very specific in their details here. So I think they have a better image of it. They they know what kind of car it is. But the details on the car are very specific, all things considered. They must have a good, a really good side image of this car somewhere. Like otherwise, things will be a lot more vague. 
But on the press release, they released two stock images of a 2011 to 2013 Hyundai Elantra. They said it was in the immediate area of King Street during the early hours of November the 13th. And they believe the occupant or occupants have vital information that they need. Like how close was it? Was If this was outside the house at 3am then we need to find this car. This could be huge folks because that's going to be very difficult to clean that car if the killer did get into a car after these murders. And obviously also this person might have nothing at all to do with it but it's very interesting. I would hate to be driving one of those cars and living in Moscow. If you were driving one of those cars you're going to be tipped in. This is going to get them a flood of tips, but I think it might be a very good lead. Fingers crossed. I'll leave it there. I'll keep it as a short one. Good luck. God bless. I hope everyone has a nice day.